Hey guys, Edge Undead here with Sir Winston. We're going to go ahead and get started with Let's Play Super Mario Bros. 2 for the original Nintendo system. Now of course this will be exciting, it will be fun, and I will see you guys there. Hi guys, Edge Undead here. So today we're starting our Super Mario Bros. 2 playthrough. Now, so in the pamphlet that came with the copy of Super Mario Bros. 2, we learn that Mario has a dream. Now there's a staircase in the dream that leads to another world. The world is the dreamland of Subcon, and a voice asks Mario for help in defeating Wart. Now, Mario awakens in him, Luigi, Toad, and Princess Peach, who have all had the same dream, decide to go on a picnic where they discover a long staircase in a cave. They are transported to Subcon, where their adventure starts. Let's get this going. Now, there's four players. There's Mario, all around good character. There's Luigi, jumps high. Toad, who could pick, who could pick items up quicker and is based more on power than speed. And of course, there's Princess Peach who can glide over a certain distance for a small amount of time. I think for this playthrough we're going to go as Mario. Here we go, World 1-1. And the adventure starts. Now this game has a few new mechanics. Uh, all around good graphics, but new mechanics. You can pick up enemies with B and toss them which is pretty fun. <laughs> and you can pick up items with B and toss them at enemies. Here we go. I'll go over the new mechanics as we go through this playthrough. Now I'll try to get through the first world with part one. And let's see how we do. So this, this uh, dream world is Subcon. And we're here to save it from uh, warts. It's this evil tyrant frog character. Here we are. This is one of the new mechanics. These doors that open up to alternate worlds in the level where you can get uh, mushrooms that give you an extra diamond hit. Not sure what to call it. But of course your hits, your HP if you want to call it that, are in the top left. The three diamond looking things. They look like the rupees from Zelda. There's cherries, items you can pick up. The shy guys, the shy guys are introduced here actually. And these are the shy guys. I don't remember what this guy's name is. Unfortunately, I'll do more reading before part two comes out. <laughs> and part two should be coming out tomorrow morning. So this game, not only did it enhance the graphics, but it enhanced the gameplay quite a bit with items like uh, this one up here. The POW here, which if you throw, it pretty much levels all the enemies on the screen. This bomb, which you can throw, and I totally missed. You can ride on enemies, I forgot about that. And of course, if you don't end an enemy's life, like this poor shy guy here, you'll throw him and you'll get back up and keep coming. You have to knock enemies out with uh, veggies, like that turnip or radish. You can also get turtle shells from the grounds. And here we go. Now, unlike other Mario games, there's no timer here. And as you saw, the turtle shell didn't rebound off of that item and swing back my way. <laughs> now this game is fun. I truly love the graphics. I truly love the enemies, the layouts. It's, it's just such a nice, you know, landscape. These ninja dudes. Now that item I just picked up, it froze time. Gonna climb up this vine here, and there we are. We would go the other way, but we're just gonna do a clean playthrough. It's it's gonna be a linear playthrough. Now these doors, the potions you use to open the doors or show the doors, there's really no specified spot, but if you get lucky and put down one of those potions, it'll show you, uh, actually if you do it in the right spot, a door appears like always, but if you do it 
in just the right spot, you have a chance at getting another, we'll call them rupees. <laughs> you get a chance at getting another rupee. Balls. So, one of the other mechanics to this game is the high jump. If you hold down for a few seconds and push A, when your character is flashing, you jump up higher than normal, which is always really good for getting up to hard, uh, hard to reach spots, right? Here we are, we're advancing up to the clouds. And like I said, I don't remember a lot of these enemies' names. I'll do my research before part two comes out. That way it's, uh, it's more entertaining because I'll actually know what to call these guys. But these guys kind of look like ladybugs, almost. Oh man, here I go falling. Yeah, and that's one thing that this, uh, this game is known for is the falling sequences. It not only goes left to right, like a landscape, it goes up and down. And later in the game, there are gonna be some levels that feature us, you know, falling down, going up, climbing through the clouds, so on and so forth. Now, here's the end of the first level. We have a fight with uh, Birdo. She's gonna launch her eggs at us and we're gonna pick them up and throw them back at her. Now you just jump on the eggs, pick them up with B, and toss them back. I think after three hits, she releases an orb that opens the mouth over there, and that's going to be a doorway leading into world, uh, I'm sorry, level one, two. Here we are. Here's the orb. The bird is opening its mouth, and let's get up in that mouth. Oh yeah, now here you get a slot machine. Depending on the amount of coins you got from the doors, you actually get a chance at getting extra lives by pushing A. You see there, I got a one up. Nothing out of that. I've always been terrible at slots. I'm sorry, guys. Hmm. One last chance. <laughs> Nothing. Zip. Nada. But that's all right. <gasps> oh, here we go. Nope, I still suck. We're gonna go ahead and continue as Mario. Like I said, all around good character. We're continuing on World 1, 2. And they do get progressively harder. Now, this guy here, this is one of the new mechanics, actually. It's kind of like Lakiru. You can hop on him and steal his cloud. And you just kind of ride it. Kind of like Aladdin. Very easy, very fun, very reminiscent of the magical carpet we know and love. <laughs> and I don't remember the exact spots for these potions. More or less, it's around where you pick up the, the sprout that has the potion. But, you know, in the later levels, it is difficult to do because there will be spots where uh, it'll be like, you know, 20 blocks away, quite a, quite a ways away, actually. Now here, we have a locked door, uh, so we're going to have to go find the key. I remember it's down here. Now when we pick up this key, it's going to activate these mask guardians. Don't remember their names, all I know is that they fly after you once you pick up the key. So let's, oh, I totally messed that up. They're very, oh god, they're fairly easy to avoid. You put the key down, they stop following you. So you can just toss it and continue onwards. Just be sure to pick it up. Otherwise, if you go off screen, it will disappear. If I remember. Now the difficulty on this this game, see that? Because of my uh, rupees, I I'm still big. If I recall, if I recall, if you get down to just one rupee, then you become the miniature version of yourself. You're not super anymore. So it kind of follows the same mechanics of the first Super Mario Bros. game. You see that? I'm tiny now. <laughs> Ooh, man. And you can't duck under items like in the, the first game either. Well, let's go and do this thing. And when you die... I forgot about that. When you die, you don't actually start over with uh, just one rupee. You actually start over with all the health. Wow, I totally just bollocks to that, guys. I'm sorry. Yeah, so... In a lot of ways... 
This game is uh, a lot easier than the first uh, Super Mario Bros. I will always use the term unforgiving when it comes to the, the last few levels on Super Mario Bros. Just because of a difficulty level. There we go. Almost through that. Use these bombs to break these blocks. Kind of reminds me of Bomberman when you're placing blocks like that. Cherries. There we go. We should almost be done with 1 2. It's been a while since I played this game as well, but a lot of the memory, a lot of what I remember is coming back. This is a fun game all around though. It was remade with 32 uh, bit graphics for the Game Boy Advance. And a lot of you will have already played this because this, uh, this was a pretty fun game when it was released. Totally missed that. <laughs> Here's our second fight with uh, Birdo. Come on, bring it. One more hit. Jeez, not for the count. Aw, oh, bollocks. Yeah, and the sprites are pretty good too. They're simplistic, but they look great. Launch the Birdo off the screen. Let's end this stage by going up into this bird's mouth. <laughs> We have two chances at getting an extra life. Three chances at getting an extra life. And bollocks it. Now, for the third part, the third level on this world, we are going to continue as Mario. All around good character. Very fun to play as. Good stats all around. Now, if there's a character you guys want to see me play more as, just go ahead and let me know. I'll be more than happy to play any one of the characters because they're all fun to play with. They're all fun to experiment with as well. I remember I would play a lot of Toad only because he's... When you, when you get used to the level layouts, when you memorize a lot of the levels, uh, you can speed through them, of course. And he is a powerhouse. Oop. Almost went too quickly there. Oh man. It's a thing playing with these old NES games. Sometimes the... Uh, you see I slowed down time there, but that's not really going to help us. But the thing with those old uh, NES games, sometimes the graphics will glitch in and out. Just like you saw there with the uh, logs, barrels. I mean, it's not too, too bad, but it does tend to happen nonetheless. Now, these blocks you see here, we're just going to go and let that guy do his rounds. This is Subcon! These blocks here you can pick up. You can use them. I don't know if one's going to be enough, but we will go and give it a try. And it was. Sweet. But you can use those blocks to make uh, stairs, platforms. Ow. <laughs> doing a lot of talking, not doing a lot of paying attention. Uh, to make stairways, platforms, to get up to hard to reach areas like we did earlier. And if I remember, one of the mask guys is going to be through here. We have another key. Yeah, here we are. Okay, so we got to pick this up and cheese it. Run, run, run. Like I said, if he ever gets too, uh, if he ever gets too close to you, you can always just kind of throw the key down. It throws him off a little bit, and all you have to do is just pick the key up again, right? And that's always a plus. It's one way of dealing with the harder, harder levels later when you're dealing with this uh, key situation. You can use it to knock out enemies as well. So not only is it an item you need, but it's a I'm small. Not only is it an item you need, but it's an item you can use to your advantage when you need to. Now we are small, so we do have to be careful here. There's that. That. Very simple, very linear gameplay. Always fun. Not as difficult as the first game. I will continue saying that. Only because... <gasps> oh my god! You saw that guy just like kind of came up wanting blood 
wanting to end me. Oh my god. Here we go. We don't even have to fight Birdo. I don't think we do. Nope. Here we go. No, this isn't Birdo. This is actually a boss. Uh, now this boss, I believe it's the mouse. Mauser. Throws bombs at you and you just throw them back at him. Yep, it's Mauser. Uh, one of the cooler enemies out of the boss slots is going to be, well in my opinion, it's going to be the, the crab. Can't remember the crab's name though. Oh, I totally messed that up. <laughs> See, if you're not careful, you die. <laughs> that happens. Now, we're big Mario. We're super Mario. We have three hits. We're totally going to be able to do this now. I made ramen earlier. The blue package, the oriental ramen. I'm staring at it. I promised myself I would eat it as soon as we were done here. And we will definitely beat this mouse. Yeah. Easier said than done, right? I really don't remember the best way to combat this guy. Oh, you know, no, it's it's down here. You can just pick up the bombs and toss them. Now, one more hit and he's defeated. Man, and he'll lob about four, four bombs before... Got it! I got it guys, I got it. This one's gonna be it. Got it. Explode. Darn it. <laughs> I'm sorry guys. I don't normally suck this much with these bosses. There we go. Oh god. It's just you have to jump under the... There we go. You have to jump under the bomb in order to go ahead and pick it up. Oh, I guess that wasn't the last hit. Oh god. I think this one's the last one. And I totally missed that. There we go, got him. Now guys, I feel like that should not have taken as long as it did. However, we did defeat Mauser. And there we are. All right guys, we're gonna go ahead and call it quits right here. That will be the end of part one. Now part one was me going over a lot of the details a lot of the changes made from Super Mario Bros. over to Super Mario Bros. 2, some of the new mechanics, and we'll go ahead and get through World 2 on Part 2. Until then, I will see you guys probably tomorrow when I upload Part 2, but if you do like my videos, please like and subscribe. Have a good day.